Hello my friends and welcome to my uh, YouTube profile Tonight uh, I will try small merger fly uh, This is size 16 curved hook and for the thread I will use a unit thread light olive Red, light olive and light olive color. I will use for the tails um, natural brown roaster feather. On these flies, I will use just small fly, small tails, just to represent emerging uh, fly and not to make it without any tails on the beginning I will just add small segmentation of the top of the body and not to be just straighter for the tails I will use three four fibers I don't like to use too much tails because in nature we can find two three and I like my flies just to represent imitations of real insects so I will just make it to look so natural sorry I will just wrap to make a perfect perfect emerger body and I will just with my use my thread to pull my tails up and just secure it uh, with one, one more wrap for the ribbing I will use polypropylene in white color and for this small small hook size I will just use a couple of couple of fibers not to be too much just to make it perfect and proportional so I will just turn one wrap back just to catch my ribbing material on the right place And now I will continue with wrapping and securing my tails and ribbing materials on the body of the fly. I could just secure my tails and to turn my thread back again but it could make a not that slim body of the fly and we all know that for the graylings and this is great fly for the graylings we know that graylings loves extra extra tins and small bodies on the imitation of flies so that's the reason I'm making on this way now I will just spin my ribbing in one direction it's not a problem clockwise counterclockwise but it's important that it's in one direction completely spin and all time during this 
ribbing the fly, we must spin the ribbing material. That's it. Now on this place I will just catch my ribbing material with my thread. Do a couple turns. And just cut the excess. Now I will just uh, tie two or three knots with whip finisher to secure it on from unwrapping and I will use a UV resin sorry I have some bugs I will use UV resin to cover the body and to secure this ribbing material because it's supremely sensitive and if you catch any fish with large and sharp teeth you can cut this ribbing material so my recommendation is just to cover it with some some mm, glue material you can use super glue you can use UV resin, you can use um, head cement or body covering material, whatever you like the most you can use, but my opinion for me uh, rise up resin is the best choice, so I will just add one small drop on the top of the fly and I will use dubbing needle just to cover complete body because I don't want to add too much of UV resin on this fly and give it extra weight because this is just fly it should float on the on the surface this body part should be under the surface and the wings we should add now it should be above the surface and the leg material which I will use now will imitate the perfect perfect fly That's it. Now, when body is finished, you can see the ribbing material is in great condition. And now, just I will secure my final thread on close to the hook eye. This is Veus. I was thread 30 than years extremely thin and extremely strong thread I don't like to use this thread when I'm tying with their hair because how strong this material is it literally c 
cut through the hair, the hairs, uh, there's hair. So I, I'm using this thread only on, on when I'm tying the CDC nymphs and that that type of materials. When I'm when I'm using extremely small hooks like 22, 24, 26 tying dry flies or emerger flies. Okay. Now I will just wrap one wrap and just pull it up to secure it in one place. And that's enough. Now I will just pull up my CDC upwards wrap couple of wraps around the hook shank just to secure it secure it again that's it now I will just use a dubbing from here's air and dub my thread extremely thin because I just like to cover my thread not to make a bulky and big thorax area so when this CDC wing cover this uh, thorax area, it should be very small wing. Here it is, and now just pull up CDC in the front part of the hook secure it around the hook shank pull it a little bit and now pull the CDC fibers back I like in this final knot just to cover my thread with black marker just to imitate head of the insect now I will just pull all fibers back and tie final knot I don't use any varnish so I will just tie one more wrap knot and that's it As you can see, we have a small fibers on the back of the wing case. You can leave that if you like, but if you want, just use your scissors, cut it, and I like to use my tweezers, this wing is not even fibers are not even length so with my tweezers I will just pull up the excess and long, move longer fibers straighten it and that's it this fly is finished you can add under the thorax area here um, some kind of hot spot like this thread I'm using this is Vevos E16 you can buy all, all, all type of hot spots in green, yellow 
purple, pink. You choose how do you like most and just add it to your fly. And that's now for this uh, video. Hope you like my tying and I hope you like that nymph. I tied already and it's uploaded on my profile. You can check in, subscribe, follow, like, comment, share. How do you like it? Um, I will post my video, video or two weekly. So follow me, turn turn the ring bell and turn notification on so you can follow me and support my channel. Thank you for your patience. Uh, hope you like it and see you around. Bye.